it's Saturday and that could only mean one thing. Catherine Edwards, R-H-O-B-H reunion, Patreon, part four. Do you realize this is our 12th chat, our 12th hour with Catherine? We have made it one solid month, you guys. The conclusion for this week's R-H-O-B-H reunion, we analyze it all. We pick up right where we left off yesterday, talking about Dorit and PK's home invasion. I have some other theories on that. We talk about, I mean, I wonder if PK is going to reach out to me with my theories, like he's already reached out to me. So that'll be a whole nother thing. Um, Yeah, I guess I'm being bitchy and underhanded, but we talk about that. We talk about everything that's been going on with Yolanda Moore and Zane and Gigi, a lot of Beverly Hills stuff going on. We talk about Erica. I don't know if you saw the TMZ video where they followed her and asked her who she wants to date. And she said they could be as young, I think, as 25, as old as whatever. And basically said they have to have money. I don't know if you guys saw this video, but Google it. So I'm just kind of being funny, which I had a moment of finding her humorous. But we talk more about that too, like moments of, you know, screaming at Andy Cohen at the reunion and telling him to keep up because it's a flip phone. Talk more about that and her growling at everyone. And just, we analyze it all. And we analyze Rena, who now says she's sorry to everyone in the world. And I talk more about how I think she's just afraid of Kathy Hilton and Kathy's Butler's man highlights of the season. So head on over to Patreon. Here are little, little clips from that chat. Uh, here we go. Enjoy and head on over there and listen to the full thing. Thank you all. We made it. And we talk at the end of the Patriot episode about how we can keep Catherine around on some basis. I have, I have plans, guys. I got plans. So hope you enjoy this. Like if I were her, I wouldn't go back to any of the videos that you were doing. I mean, the videos were cameras in their house. Like where, like, that's another thing. Like, I mean, there's cameras everywhere. But that's the thing. So wherever they have cameras in the front and the back, it's Teddy Mellencamp security, by the way, her husband. Let's add another what? layer to this. Edwin, Teddy's husband, apparently does security. And so that's where Dana Wilkie came out and said, that's great, Teddy, that you're accusing me, but isn't your husband the one that does security for all these houses? So- He's really the one that should be worried. But maybe, but maybe Dorit and PK only paid for four cameras and they didn't get them on the good spots. Well, here's the thing. There's front and back cameras and Dorit's, I think, saying that like the back cameras or wherever it was were just accidentally out. What? Some, I, I need to read the fine print, but wherever the cameras were, where they smashed the window, you see Catherine? Before, this is why, wherever it was, she's like, oh, those cameras were off at the moment. This is where it's like, that's where people are like, bitch, we don't believe you. Get the Birkins back. <laughs> right, like, I'm not, listen, if you insure, oh. <laughs> if, if you insure your whole life and then it's robbed, you get the money back if it's insured. Yeah, but- most of the time, I mean, I'd be curious to see it, how much insurance they had on right. items. I don't I, know. I'm just telling you, I'm not taking sides. You think that Dorit is my Erica and I have a vendetta for Dorit. I'm just saying there, <laughs> there's something I need to read the fine print, but there's something where Dorit is like, yeah, we have all these cameras, but these were turned off. And it was just one of these things of like, so it's 11 p.m. and those particular cameras are off. No one believes you. Well, you know what? I would say this. Were they off from a week ago and nights before, or were they only off for that night? As she That's said, there are certain ones in the front. That I mean, I, again, I'm not sure, but like were wherever. They, were long periods of time, or were they only out for that night? Like how long were they out? That I'm not sure of. Those are the questions that I'd be curious about. But you, do you see what I mean? So this is why I'm just saying people are not clear cut wow. on this. Okay. I did not know any of this. Wow. I'm not coming for Dorit. Like I wish her and PK the best. Yeah. I'm just, there is an argument. I want to even talk about this and I'm scared to bring it up because I really like Yolanda a lot, but what about that situation? 
That was crazy. That made me really bad. Terrible. I mean, when Zane and Gigi got together, I thought it was like, this is perfect. Awesome. Awesome. But I think it's like, I, I read that he's smoking like some really strong, bad weed. And I mean, that's like his, and he has like a tendency to lash out at people. Really? I mean, I, I, I just if think if like someone puts their hands on your mother. Done. 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 And honestly, I can't for all the tea in China, imagine Yolanda doing anything that would warrant she is so sweet. Really? She, yeah. She's a sweet, sweet person. He had like said some really like ugly things. I called her a name and spoke really, really, really poorly to her. And uh, I think he said you Dutch see you in Tuesday. Yeah. Like what the fuck is that? Wait, don't, you can imagine where I stand. On I that was one. just going to say the see you in Tuesday is what. <laughs> My triggers blood. you, Catherine. It would trigger like, you. I was like, sit down, Yulon. Let me go handle this. <laughs> and his record label dropped him. Oh, really? Oh, yep. see, dropped that him. I didn't know. Yep. Oh, I brought some information to the table. Yeah, this I didn't know. Yeah. Money, money, <laughs> more money, more problems. Yeah, like money. That's the thing. It's like, I've said this before. It's like, well, I mean, a lot of people with money still want fame, but people that have both and have lost both, most people will be like, fuck the fame. I just want the money. Right? I mean, oh, that's the real way to live. The best way to be is just just wealthy and fly below the radar. Yes. I have said this before. Yeah. Have the money and fly below the radar. If you have tons of money and you want the fame, that is worse to me than if you need the money from the show. If you need the money from the show, I get it. Go for it. If you have the money and you want this, that's where it's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. True. Like, try it out. But when you sell your soul for it, like what is wrong with you? I remember, I remember the one season that I did. I remember Eileen and, and uh, Rena saying to me, why are you doing this? Both of them. Why are you doing this? I was like, I don't know. I just want to, I just was curious. Yeah, it's like fine. I, but well, I'm, it's like, I just felt like, you know, I live in LA and, you know, I don't have any kids' lives I'm going to ruin. I'm not going to, you know. I've, I, I, and I always said, you could dig to China. You're not going to find anything on me. So what do I have to lose? My sanity. <laughs> but yes. But then why is Sutton doing it? Did you love an appearance tonight by Eden? But besides your cameo, did you love the Eden Sassoon cameo? The Kim Richards cameo? We had a lot of cameos tonight. I mean, honestly, do I really care? No. Eden is a strange, a strange one. You know, it's really funny because I have mutual friends, um, but no, nothing bad ever. Never. I mean, and, and the mutual friends that we have, um, as far as I know, there's no drama at all. But when she went on and I can't remember what someone, one of my, one of our mutual friends said something. I don't think she ever said anything about me, but I was blocked on Twitter from her account. Unacceptable. Why did Eden Sassoon block our very own Catherine Edwards on Twitter? Unacceptable. Somehow when we chat with Catherine about these reunions, we always go back to nostalgia and her season and what actually happened, which is why I would have not done these recaps and analysis. They're not even recaps. They're analysis with anyone but Catherine because this is behind the velvet rope. And I like people behind the velvet rope that were actually on the show. So we do find out why Eden blocked Catherine and lots of other things from her season. And yes, we do talk more about the reunion. Head on over to Patreon. Our conclusion starts in three, two, Patreon Saturdays.